this is Pascal Birchler. Uh, he's 22, which means he's about half my age. He started blogging when he was 12, and he's now 22, and he's a WordPress core committer. Um, so, I mean, I'm just going to hand the stage over to him, basically, because he's achieved way more in his life than I have. He's going to tell you all about his journey from blogging to core committing. Uh, please give him a round of applause and welcome him to WordCamp London. Well, good morning. Um, it's an honor to be here today. Uh, I know that WordCamps mean a lot of work, and so thanks again to all the organizers and volunteers. Um, as you said, I'm going to talk about my journey from being a blogger, WordPress user, to a WordPress core committer. Um, how is it to be part of such a big project? Um, how is it to be breaking the web every once in a while? Um, by sharing my story, I want to encourage you to um, contribute to an open source software and show you how rewarding it is. Also, I'll reveal what Swiss chocolate has to do with that. As a quick note before I begin, uh, now's a good time to follow me on Twitter, where I'll share the link to my slides right after my talk. And yes, that's three S's in a row. Uh, last year, I attended Work in London for the first time. I had a great time uh, with my friends and colleagues, and it turned to be the start of an amazing 2015. And naturally, this time, I decided to go on stage myself. And I've been thinking about um, the title of my talk for quite a while before I actually applied. And I even had a working draft title in my notebook. Um, awful, but uh, it can also be not that bad. And together we can make it even more awesome. And yeah, today I'll show you how we can do that. Yeah, I love this animation. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a core committer is, um, I briefly want to clarify that term for you. So, simply put, WordPress is made by hundreds of people. And every person here can suggest a bug fix or an enhancement to WordPress core. And after that, committers are the ones who put that change into WordPress. And there are currently about 40 WordPress core committers. So now, let's roll back in time for a bit. Um, to my beginnings with WordPress. It all started 10 years ago when I wanted to build my own personal website. And I don't know why, but I chose WordPress to keep an online journal. So WordPress 2.0 was brand new at the time, I think. And yeah, the content was pretty boring for a 12-year-old. And luckily it was written in German, so most of you won't be able to decipher the text here. Um, yeah, but it was fun. Um, I was always fascinated with technology and the web, and I was learning about how could I customize the site, um, tweaking the HTML and CSS and stuff, and I spent hours on that. Wrong button. Um, two years later, I decided to blog solely about WordPress and news and findings because I was so interested in it. The site was called Swiss WordPress Magazine. Pretty, uh, not, not that uh, interesting name. Uh, but it was a real digital magazine. Uh, I created a PDF magazine and later even an iOS app and all in my spare time. And yeah, that's an embarrassing screenshot you'll see today. Um, I didn't realize it at the time, but Blogging about WordPress, spending a lot of time tweaking my site helped me to get to know WordPress very, very well. Um, I read all the blog posts. I attended uh, meetings in IRC or tested all the releases. Sorry, uh, um, I tested all the releases. Um, I learned about plugin and theme development. Um, and how the WordPress community was organized in general, you know, with the WordPress foundation, and that WordPress isn't made by automatic. Um, it made me feel more comfortable working with it. I think if you're new to WordPress, diving headfirst into it is awesome. It's the best way you can learn it. And plus, if you blog yourself, you learn uh, the needs of everyday WordPress users the best. 
Just yesterday, uh, I met a guy from Germany at the Contributor Day for the first time. Uh, it turned out that he was a blogger, a co-author on my blog eight years ago, just kicking off his work. Oh, sorry. Um, just kicking off his WordPress career simply by blogging about it. So in short, blogging about WordPress is great. Um, having people reading your blog and your content and learning from it is awesome. It's an awesome feeling. And out of these visits emerge uh, conversations and you get to know people uh, who are like-minded. And I naturally started to wonder, was there a WordPress community in Switzerland? Like, not an online community, but a physical one. And I was keen to find out. <clears throat> Turns out, there was none. Uh, no local meetups, no work camps. There were only a handful of people blogging about WordPress from time to time. So I realized that I needed to take action myself in order to change that. I began looking for uh, some general tech events in my area, uh, so not necessarily uh, WordPress related. Um, guess how I felt when I attended a bar camp for the first time? Uh, there were lots of other people, way older than me, and I really had no idea what to do there. So luckily I've grown up, uh, at least a bit, and I hope none of you is uh, feeling the same today. Um, let's have a chat afterwards. A few years went by, um, and together with people from the German WordPress community, we managed to organize a small work camp in northern Switzerland with about 50 attendees. Uh, it was pretty small, but it was a sign of life for the WordPress community in Switzerland. After that, uh, WordPress really got traction in the country. Um, in 2014 and 2015, we managed to organize uh, work camps with over 200 attendees and um, well-known speakers from all over the world, like this guy, um, Konstantin Obenland, who is a WordPress core committer and works for Automat. At the time, uh, Noel Talk organized uh, the local meetup group in Zurich, I attended many, many meetups, um, even organized a few. Um, but for me, local meant taking a one hour train ride to Zurich from the eastern part of Switzerland, um, which is kind of silly because now I'm taking a plane to London to do the same. Um, but anyway, today Switzerland has a more active community than ever before. And there are active meetup groups in multiple cities. Uh, lots of successful developers and agencies offering high-quality WordPress services. Um, there's even a work camp coming up uh, later this year, I think October. Um, yeah, I guess WordPress really has arrived in Switzerland. <coughs> For me, WordPress um, meetups and have always proved to be very rewarding because um, of all the discussions and the uh, friendships that arise out of them. Um, it's been worth it every single time. And <clears throat> in my opinion, you should really think about uh, joining or even organizing a local meetup. And if you want to get out of town, why not combine your trip with a work camp? The work camp London is just, sorry, work camp Europe is just around the corner. <clears throat> so, Let's recap this for a moment. <clears throat> I was blogging quite successfully about WordPress and using WordPress, um, and I became very confident in working with it. I attended plenty of WordPress events, um, and I even finished my apprenticeship as a web developer a couple of years ago. Yet, I never managed to really contribute to WordPress as I hoped to do. <clears throat> as you know, is made by many, many people. People way smarter than me, um, talented experts in their respective fields. And for me, there was, there was self doubt that I was not good enough or um, that uh, contributing is too difficult for me. And contrary to today, there was also a lack of documentation or good help for new contributors. So I really struggled to get going. Um, but but when the first work of Europe was announced in 2013 uh, with a contributor day, I just, I just had to attend. I knew that it was my chance to, to change this. Um, I only knew a handful of people there, but uh, it was a big opportunity for me. Um, 
Yeah, but I didn't really know what to expect or how to prepare for that contributor day. Um, but for me, in the end, success in every way because I got my first jobs in a WordPress co core commit. Um, I didn't even need to code anything complex or something. Uh, simply improved inline documentation, which is pretty easy. Um, still, a and yeah. So no matter how small the change was, um, for me it was still. And I, oops, sorry, um, I earned some more props by contributing more regularly to WordPress. Um, and I don't know why I didn't start earlier with that because it was easy. And I really liked it, and you learn something new every day when you contribute. To WordPress. Um, Sorry about the microphone. Um, people will help you getting started. Um, little mistakes. Day by day, you get better at what you do. Oh, and somehow I even ended up with a bunch of shot glasses from the work camp. Um, I guess I had to celebrate something. <laughs> so after the work camp, I continued to frequently contribute to WordPress. Um, it meant that I got to know lots of aspects of WordPress and lots of parts that will make you shake your head when you touch them. And if you do touch them, chances are high that things are going to break. One example that was particularly fun was uh, a change to a class about querying users by different roles. Uh, nothing spectacular, but it was something I was in need of myself. And um, I learned that there was a three-year-old ticket, um, I, and I got motivated to fix it. I spent a couple of hours writing tests, um, the actual implementation, and after a couple of more tweaks and considerations, it got committed to core. Um, I thought, wow, that is easy. It was pretty cool. Now I can work with it. Unfortunately, it wasn't that easy. A few hours later, um, there was a report on the um, track went down, so that's the ticketing system WordPress uses. But um, I didn't think uh, anything uh, about it because it happens often. After that, WordPress.org went down as well. And I still thought it didn't pay much attention because that can happen too, right? Suddenly, I got some notifications. Turns out, my contribution was the culprit. So, uh, due to an oversight, um, there was a massive loss of performance when querying users, crashing the database. Yeah, out. Have I already mentioned how, uh, some, um, how awesome contributing to WordPress is, that you learn a lot from? And I guess it's true that you learn from failure and not from success. But for me, contributing to WordPress got uh, even more fun after that um, last July when, when there was a feature plugin chat uh, on Slack. So a feature plugin is essentially um, an idea that is being developed as a plugin first and eventually um, be proposed for being merged into WordPress core. And I think now they are called feature projects, but it's kind of the same. Uh, <clears throat> So uh, just as contributing um, a patch to WordPress, um, developing a feature plugin makes you learn something new every day. And in addition to that, you, um, you get bugs, you get stress and deadlines. Nonetheless, if you ever have an idea for a feature project, do not hesitate to pursue it. So in this feature plugin chat, I talked about an idea um, I shared several ideas, and one of them was about embedding content from other WordPress sites in your WordPress site. So WordPress site in a WordPress site, um, not more. Um, here's an example of how, that, um, how, we man how we imagined it to look like in the early days. Luckily, people seemed to like the idea, so um, I started to working more on it. So there I was um, suddenly leading a uh, plugin. 20 contributors and 500 commits, just like five months. 
um, and all with the weekly meetings, um, decision making, and of course the deadlines. And eventually the plugin got merged to WordPress 4.4 last fall. And you can only imagine how relieved I felt that. After the core merge, uh, a fun bug occurred um, when someone reported that embed didn't work properly on older WordPress versions. Embed code um, consisting of HTML and JavaScript got uh, mixed up and it was broken on all the WordPress sites. The culprit, ampersands. So basically, WordPress was encoding ampersands in the embed code, and we needed a clever way to. So, do you see the difference? Uh, what we did was eliminating ampersands from the embed code, uh, creating some nested if statements along the lines and um, to ensure that this doesn't and actually Andy Jason talked about this Camp US last December and you to watch this talk uh, on WordPress TV this bug shows quite well how WordPress is committed to backwards compatibility. And it also shows you that maintaining backward embeds isn't that and very well worth the effort because now embeds work on all WordPress versions. Finally, I can tell you about a Swiss chocolate. You may ask to do with uh, the whole story. Um, as a reward for my numerous contributions to WordPress, uh, I got the chance to attend the Community Summit and the first ever WordCamp US last December. I didn't manage to see the famous stairs of the Rocky movies, but uh, the trip was a success nonetheless. And of course, as a tourist visiting the US for the first time, um, I brought some Swiss chocolate with me. And I thought um, it all started with a single tweet. <clears throat> of course, I could count on Gary Pendergast, who is also a core committer and um, was a great help when developing the Embeds plugin. And just a few hours later, my strategy seemed to pay off. And only in my dreams I could have imagined what happened afterwards. In the annual State of the World speech, Matt Mullenweg announced that several core contribution, uh, contributors um, would receive commit access to WordPress core in the next year, including me. Um, yeah, no need to tell you that I was flabbergasted and super honored um, when I first heard the news. The very next day, uh, I sat to next to WordPress lead developers at the WordCamp US Contributor Day and Andrew Nasing gave me the instructions for the task of the day, my first commit. It wasn't a spectacular commit or something. Um, someone wrote a patch, um, improving a small part of the toolbar, and I can assure you that I spell-checked the commit message dozens of times. Well, what can I say? Um, I guess hard work eventually pays off and I think it's a validation of uh, my engagement with the community and uh, it's also a huge honor and a reminder that I should not stand still and keep giving my best. Suddenly people were asking me for WordPress help or help when contributing to WordPress and I realized that's where I was just a few years earlier and perhaps one of them will be a fellow core committer um, someday. Oh, and I even had some new followers on Twitter, if that's any helpful. <clears throat> so this was my path um, to WordPress and how I found um, satisfaction in contributing to Core. So, but why should you do this? Well, the easy answer is because together we can make WordPress great again. And yes, that URL really works. But seriously, um, as we all work with WordPress, uh, we know that it's great for blogging. 
It's also great for building huge web applications as well, for example, using the new REST API. But it has its flaws. And so why not make something better that you're using every day anyway? For me, contributing to open source software in general comes with many benefits. First, it makes you a better developer. But it will also give you a better sense for web design, for example. Um, you'll definitely learn to deal with unexpected changes, um, to deal with deadlines, and you'll deal with other aspects like accessibility, community engagement, work and talks, um, and translations. So simply put, participating in a big project like WordPress will absolutely improve your skills. And of course, from now on, you will always have Swiss chocolate on you because you know it gets you places. Finally, you will um, meet awesome people around the world, people that are smarter than you and that you can learn a lot from. Um, you will attend great conferences like the one today, and perhaps you'll even end up uh, in a beach in the middle of a city, relaxing and sobering up, um, just like we did here on this photo taken at WordCamp Vienna last year. So I'm very grateful that I started contributing to WordPress and where it took me. And if you aren't doing it already, I think you really should. Thank you very much. All right, I think we have enough time for questions now, so. I've been hesitate. looking around. There's a big clock on the back of the hall. I don't know if you can see that. It's about five minutes slow, <laughs> um, confusingly for everyone that's up here. Uh, but I reckon we're here until 20 past, so uh, we've got about 15 minutes for questions, if you're happy to take them. Does anyone, a great story, great to hear how you go from being a blogger to a core committer, um, hopefully a journey that all of us are on. Does anyone want to ask Pascal any questions about that journey? Yes, yes. there was a hand, I saw a hand in the middle. Can, we, can you just wait for a mic to, to come over? Uh, blue shirt right in the middle. You put your hand up. Yeah. Cool. Thanks, Matt. So, um, how did you even get started? You started when you were 12 blogging, right? Did I hear that yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, what's a 12-year-old blog about, and how did you even, I mean, were you, I don't know, was your dad a web developer, or, you know, how do you even get the idea as a 12-year-old to blog? And then, what kind of stuff were you putting out? I'm really curious. So luckily the content was in German, so you couldn't see it yeah. on the screenshot. Um, I blogged about um, school, about exams, about um, online games and pretty boring stuff. Um, or like a new video I found on YouTube. And yeah, I don't know why, why I got interested in, in the web. I was um, spending lots of time on, at the computer and somehow it was, yeah, web development. Uh, hi, it's um, Mike Little. Um, as a co-founder of WordPress, I want to say thank you for contributing to WordPress and making Core better. Um, and yeah, just to, to iterate what you said about anybody can make any kind of contribution. Um, and yeah, uh, Pascal's story is, is awesome. We, we can all get involved in, in contributing to WordPress. We can all make it better. Maybe not as developers, but everything from, from translation to documentation and so on. So take inspiration from, from a great guy who's, who's achieved so much in, uh, at such a young age. It's, uh, it's really inspiring. Well, thank you. Anyone else? Can I, can I just point out, well, this is more of a comment than a question. My first commit to WordPress core, I've only made two. My first was a comment, um, but you still get credit for doing that. Um, so that was fantastic. My second was about two lines of JavaScript. So though I'm officially core committer by status, um, it's only for doing really, really tiny things. But that's the kind of place that you can start committing to core, right? Would you agree with that? Um, so yeah, when, when you contribute, it doesn't matter um, what, what you change, um, how big the change is. Um, doesn't matter if you're experienced or not. Really, anyone can, can contribute. 
Great. I'll do a little countdown in my head from five to zero. <laughs> and if there's... Oh, oh, I've got another question at the back. Another question. Uh, good morning. Um, I think your case in, in terms of um, getting commit was a bit special in, in that um, you had uh, big contributions in the OEmbed feature plugin. Um, and I think you're... I don't know if you were the first, but you're um, one of very few who came in that way. Can you uh, talk about that a little bit and um, how people can get more involved with WordPress through feature plugins? Um, so the feature plugin, the, the Embeds plugin, uh, it was something I worked on in 2014, just as a proof of concept. And yeah, I. I don't know, when the, when the future plugin chat came up, I thought, hmm, why not um, uh, share the idea of this feature, or of this plugin I just had on, on GitHub. There was also a, a track ticket about it, so I knew there was some interest in it. And yeah, if you have an, an idea for a feature project or like an existing plugin, just uh, participate in the feature plugin chat on Slack which happens quite frequently, I think, or like before I release. And usually, like, um, it doesn't mean your plugin will get into WordPress core. It just means that you can explore something and you get a um, huge user base to test your plugin. And probably your idea will not end up in core like the, the way you imagine it because things will change and you learn that users want, want it differently. So the Embeds plugin turned out to be like, it was a simple, um, simple thing we thought, and then we thought about like security and all the WordPress versions. And yeah, that, that's why we ended up with lots of commits in a short amount of time. Does that answer your question? Or? Okay. Cool. I'm assuming no more hands means that track A has finished 10 minutes early. Just to brief you, uh, can we give, uh, give Pascal a round of applause, please? Thank him for his talk. He's come. He came all the way from Switzerland. Did you bring chocolate today? Sorry? Did you bring chocolate today? N no, I'm positive oh. not. Yeah.